This is a little quickie thingy on uh, working with LED lights and having light I effects in your uh, terrain piece or in your little, you know, little building. How to put, you know, a light, have a light bulb in there. If you go down to a place like up here, they used to call them the Radio Shack. Now it's called the Source, and they're really not into little electronic parts anymore. Eh? So things like seed lights and stuff are getting kind of hard to find. Eh? Got my Alpha Slip going again, but. So, you can still buy packages of LEDs, uh, hard to get clear ones, you know, lots of times you end up with red ones and stuff, you know, and here I'll zoom in, zing, they come in different sizes too, eh, you know, uh, big ones, little ones, okay, these are red, obviously, hey, you see there's a little guy in the big ones, now there's uh, different, uh, the, the red, the blue, the green and stuff, they usually have different kind of resistors. I'll put up a sheet at the end of this thing, A, eh, that sort of tells you, and if you pause it at that point, it'll give you the calculations and stuff. But anyways, before you go doing anything with your LED lights, okay, like because normally you need a battery to power them, right? Okay, I use, quite often I use these, well, here, not fine, dang it, you got to zoom back in. All right. These are those, uh, you know, you see them in radio, say, for putting your battery in or a smoke detector type thingy, say. Okay, well, you can buy these by the package, say, for, uh, you get five of them or something like that, okay? Now, this is my tester for checking the LEDs to whether or not it works, okay? On the, the positive line here, I've soldered on a resistor. That's a, a 1K, a 1, you know, 1K ohm. Thousand, thousand ohms or whatever it is, one k. So that there. Now you won't blow out your little LED lights when you test them. Okay. Otherwise, man, you 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 you'll take your your battery and you'll you'll touch it and you'll see a little flashlight and you'll go, oh well, Jesus, I thought that worked. You know, I, what the heck? You know, I thought that was working. And then so you'll grab another LED and you'll go, poof, flash. And there, you know, like, see, can you, I don't know, can you see that? I'm going to have to zoom back in. Yeah, dang it. Okay. So on your LED, uh, I'll show you the picture of two. Okay, they only work one way. But if you got a, re a, a resistor there, especially 1K, okay, then you won't burn it out. You see, if I try going different polarity on it from the other, it doesn't work, okay? Uh, they, psh, I can't remember what these are called, but... Anyways, like I said, I'll put the chart at the end. Okay, uh, for battery packs, you know, another source is stuff like, you know, broken toys or, you know, this is, this was an old alarm clock, eh? So it's still got the buzzer in it. I'm going to use the buzzer for something too, eh? But uh, it all runs off of one and a half volt. And by the way, most of the batteries are all one and a half volt. It doesn't matter if it's double A, little A, you know, uh, D, whatever. It, that just gives you how, how long it's basically going to last, eh? You know, because a big D will last longer than a double A, obviously, but they're all one and a half volts. Eh? So, you know, here's a little light. I'm going to use this for a, a spotlight on something, eh? Because it's one and a half volt light. Now, uh, switches, I mean, here, here, here's a cool one. I'm going to have to zoom back out here as soon as I find my remote. Oh, I have to put it up here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, this was a, a pressure switch on something, eh? So the air's on and off. What the heck was on? Blender. So this is power on. So you can do lots of things with this, and then and then this is sort of like a pressure type thing. So you can turn it on, and nothing will happen until this thing gets pressed down, eh? Which is kind of cool. And uh, if you want to do a whole bunch of testing, okay, grab yourself a little piece of circuit board out of something. Uh, lots of hobby places will have little pieces of circuit board for God only knows what the heck they were for, eh? I bought a bunch of templates and then I just snap off these little pieces and I weld in, uh, weld, solder in resistors where I need to and then I have this on a bench table and I can just take LEDs and just, you know, set them in there to see if they work or not, hey? Kind of handy, it's pretty easy to use. Just use it, like I said, use a 1K ohm on there. Uh, if you can't find LED lights at your place, there's uh, things like, you know, this. These are... Uh, well, Christmas lights, a lot of the Christmas lights nowadays, where's my remote again? A lot of the Christmas lights nowadays are LEDs. These ones were actually little pumpkin things, hey, for uh, Halloween or something. So I took them all off the, the strand, kept all this, the wires from making trees, and uh, 
these little LEDs are kind of cool. There, it, it's sunk right into this plastic, but the plastic with a little bit of heat, you can melt it. Eh? So I can change these into torches. And then I have, a, what I do is I use a popsicle stick and I run my two wires up the popsicle stick. I'll melt this slightly and make it into a flame type effect. Stick it on the popsicle stick, paint the popsicle stick black. And then when I throw the switch, the torch is glowing. Eh? That's kind of cool. Uh, what else was I going to show you? Oh, uh, yeah, this is kind of cool. Uh, what the heck is this? Don't know what that is. Guess that's not very cool, is it? Well, this is out of a calculator. It's one of the chips out of a calculator. But this is a display out of the calculator. Now, unfortunately, I doubt very much if you're going to be able to see. Are we at max? As I run this over this, let me just make sure that it works here for you. So we can't see. Near, 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 near. Anyways, it, you'll get a display, eh? Now it'll be all kind of weird garbly goop type numbers, eh? And weird, weird uh, symbols. But if you're doing some sort of alien type display type thing, that's really actually kind of cool. Where was it working? Anyways, play around, play around with one of these when you take. Oh God, I'm on, sitting there staring right at my chin. Back this up. Okay, so you're not going to be able to see this, hey, but uh, if you, you, you take your battery and if you uh, run the line on it or the, the wires on the back, you'll see all kinds of weird symbols and displays and all kinds of weird stuff pop up on the little little screen, eh? which is kind of cool. If you built that into a, like a control panel type thing, and you had your, you know, an LED light in there and you had this thing, you know, just going back and forth or even just attached to a stick. And if you move the stick, eh, uh, you'd have different readouts on your LED screen on your computer program display thing, eh, which would be kind of cool. But anyways, that's why I hang on to all this kind of stuff. Anyways, when, so when the electronic pieces break, eh, take them apart, raid all the gears off them, raid the pulleys, raid the... You know, the little electronic display pieces, take all the little LED lights and use those in your terrain, eh? They, they add a real nice element.